Hello friends, welcome back to my channel quest for knowledge. Today we are going to discuss corporate accounting and in this the first question is what is reissue of share. So when the share is forfeited, it means whenever the shareholders fails to pay the allotment or any call fee, then the share belongs to the company. So the forfeited share when it is reissued or sailed, so that is considered as reissue of shares. So, the reissue means sale of the forfeiture share is considered as the reissue of share. I hope you are clear. Let us move on to the second question now. So, who, what is bearer or unregistered debenture is whoever will carry the debenture certificate will be the real owner of it. So, there is no compensation that you need to register the transfer. So, whoever be the bearing that debenture certificate will be the uh, real owner of that debenture. So, such is considered as bearer and unregistered debenture. So, the next question is what is firm undertaking. So, undertaking is a task or an agreement which they have agreed to do something. So, under the firm undertaking is any business or any work or any project which they have undertaken agreed uh, to do the task is considered as firm undertaking. Okay. So, interim dividend is whenever the company gives the interim dividend before the annual general meeting and before the release of the financial statement, this declared dividend usually accompanies the company's interim financial statement. So, it is the payment which is being given before the company's general meeting we can consider. What is goodwill? Goodwill is an intangible thing, an asset which cannot be seen nor touched. So, goodwill is an intangible asset representing non-physical item which, which is not a material which do not have any kind of a physical thing and it adds a company's value. Okay. Let us move on. Mention four circumstances under which share have to be valued. So, students uh, the question is what are the four circumstances we value the share? One is that when you have to pay for any estate duty or any kind of a tax on that time. Second is during any kind of a amalgamation or absorption of the company. Uh, third is for any kind of a tax, gift to tax purpose, discharge of debts and liabilities and uh, for uh, purchasing of the share. Like for these all are the things the shares has to be valued question what is managerial remuneration? Managerial remuneration is the salary which has to be paid to the managers of the company on top management level. Example of one such post is director of the company. So, managerial remuneration is operated under companies act and it is clear to the concept that manager who is a director of the company whatever his salary it will be the managerial remuneration. So, the first question is what is forfeiture of shares? So, forfeiture the shareholder who no longer owns any uh, when he no longer owes any remaining balance for example, if the owner fails to pay any of the money call money or allotment money then the share is being forfeited. Forfeited means taken back. So, such kind of share is considered as forfeited shares. So, that is why so, when a, the shareholder no longer owes any remaining balance and surrenders any capital gain on the share, then it automatically goes back to the company. So, such is, such is considered as forfeited shares. So, debenture can be secured in nature, it can be unsecured and it can be secure. So, secure is one where it has been pledged or mortgaged with the asset okay, for a security reason. So, that is why it is secured debenture and the naked debenture which has not kept any kind of a security, it is only based on the trust of the issuer. Okay, so, there is no any kind of a asset which has been pledged or mortgaged as a security for the debenture. So, that is why it is considered as naked security, a naked debenture which comes under the category of unsecured debenture. After that, how do you treat the following items in the company's balance sheet? So, that is the question.
so the items which has to be shown in the company's balance sheet is asset liabilities owner stockholder equity all kind of asset long term short term everything come under the asset side and uh, liabilities all type of short term and long term liabilities apart with uh, from that owners liability will come under the equity side and well discuss the second question which is term goodwill we have discussed this so what do you mean by the remuneration of an independent director so it's a director remuneration is the process by which directors of a company are compensated either through fee salary or the use of the company's property with approval from the shareholders and board of directors the companies act 2013 they state that independent director may receive remuneration by the way of fees provided under subsection 5 of section 197 as the reimbursement of expenses for parties finally the last question is define firm underwriting so the firm underwriting means that the underwriter or under uh, writer agree to purchase all the security being offered for their own account and after that they will have their own purpose to sell to the uh, customers okay and clients so, so that is underwriting